today I'm going to do a video on the gear I use. I had some requests, so I'm going to kind of go through everything. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. I wouldn't really call myself a big gear junkie. Uh, one thing I'd like to say before I really get into this is, you know, having all this gear and everything is really nice. It makes it convenient, and it, it, it just makes everything easier for you for your hunts. It doesn't kill deer, though. It's... I focus more on the deer side of it, you know, trying to learn more about deer. And uh, that's where I focus most of my attention on the hunting, on the hunting experiences is the, the deer and the game and, and, and being a woodsman and, and everything. That comes first and foremost to me beyond the gear. You don't need all this to deer hunt. I've been deer hunting since I was very young. I didn't have any of this. I had a very simple bow and very simple backpack. I didn't have all these climbing sticks and saddles and nothing. I mean, you know, it was just me and Papa and uncles and cousins nailing some two by fours on a tree and put some corn out or just, just whatever, you know, it, we didn't have all this. This just makes it easier, but it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, make you kill deer. Learning the game you hunt is, is by far the, the most important thing. Um, so I wanted to make sure I, I got that across before I went into all this. I feel like these days, and not everyone, but I feel like a lot of guys that are getting into hunting are so gear focused that they they lose sight of what they're actually doing. And uh, I feel like if you, if you go, if you're just getting into it and you go and you spend a whole lot of money on gear and you go out there and you're just not, su not su successful at all because you haven't really put in the time, uh, you know, you might not stick to it. You might feel like you've invested a lot of money and it's just not worth it. So, if you, if you start now, really, really, uh, you know, focus on the game you're hunting. Focus on the gear that you need to to make your life easier. But it, it's more so on, on the game you're hunting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of separate it into categories. The first category is going to be my bow and where I shoot. I'm not going to go into tremendous detail. Uh, I'm not going to get into a debate on heavy arrows and speed and Axle axle lengths and, and everything else. I'm just going to show you what I shoot. It's what works for me uh, Everyone has a different opinion and, and and you should shoot what you like and what's comfortable to, to you But I'm going to go over what I shoot uh, This is a Botech Insanity CPX It was It came out in 2012 it has a brace height of six inches and has an axle to axle of 32 inches. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm pulling. I'm probably pulling about 68, 70 pounds, something like that. It's 70 pound limbs. And uh, I got a 28 inch, I think 28 and a half inch draw length. And uh, I really like the bow. I've had it a long time. I, I may get something next year, make it something new next year. I'm not sure. I'm completely satisfied with this bow right now. It shoots great, feels good, it's fast, and uh, I haven't had any issues with it. I have confidence in it, and that's the number one thing in the bow. I'll kind of go through it and show you how I have it set up. Uh, I have a Garmin X0 range finding bow sight on it, which I really, really like. Uh, a couple of years ago, I had a really nice buck get away from me because uh, I just never could get a range. The way he was moving, I couldn't get a good range. And I ranged him and he moved. And by the time I got a shot on him, I missed him. And uh, these sites had just came out, so I decided to get one. And uh, after you get it set up, I absolutely love this site. I don't know if I'll always shoot it. Sometimes I just miss the simplicity of a, just a regular pin site. But I really like this site, and I don't have any intentions of changing it as of now. Uh, this is an old Ghost Quiver. I like this quiver a lot. It just fits pretty close to the bow. It just slips off with a little little cam over. And uh, I put this hook on here. If you'll notice my gear strap that I put around a tree when I'm hunting on public land, it's real quick. I can hang my bow on that, that gear strap. And uh, it just makes it real easy. I don't have to screw anything into the tree. It's all part of my setup. Pretty streamlined, easy to carry, and, and just works really good for me. Uh, I'm shooting QAD rest. Been on here a while. And this is kind of actually just a homemade stabilizer bar. Um, 
Couldn't even tell you the original name brand. I've had it a long time, kind of added to it, put some O-rings just to dampen it a little bit. But uh, that's it. It's, it's pretty simple. It's just a straightforward Bowtech uh, Insanity CPX. I'm comfortable with it. I like it. Really got no reason to change if I do buy another bow or just because I want something different. Other than that, I really like this bow. As far as an, uh, an arrow, this is just a Black Eagle Carnivore arrow, 300 spine arrow with uh, a 100 grain Rage Titanium with inserts and a Luminoc on the, on the end of it. I believe this arrow weighs about what, what, uh, 400, about 418 grains total weight. It's not super heavy. Uh, I think it does a great job. I have had zero issues. I've never lost a deal with this arrow and this bow that I didn't hit right. But every deer I've ever shot, nine times out of 10, I get a pass through and um, I, I may go to a heavier arrow. I'm not sure. But uh, as of now, I'm, I'm happy with this setup. And that's what I'm going to shoot. So this is my mobile setup that I use. These are tethered one sticks. They have a single step aider on two of them. They have uh, the rope tamers. I believe I got these from Backwoods Gear Outdoors. I can't remember to be honest with you. I like these sticks, they're very light. This is the first generation tethered ones. I uh, added these little these little things on here. It's just a it's just a spacer and a uh, washer and a screw. I just kind of drilled into that where that rope end goes and uh, it just helps helps me store the rope. This is a three-step aider, and I usually use that on the first stick if I'm trying to get over three sticks high, I will use, I will bring this, and that stays in my saddle pouch. This is an old leverage stick. If I need, I have a set of three of these, but if I need an extra stick wherever I'm hunting, and I think I'm, if I think I'm going to need an extra stick, I'll bring this with me. It's not too heavy, small. I don't have an extra tethered one stick, so. If you think I need that, I'll throw that in the pack. Most of the time I don't. I can get plenty high enough. I can get 18, 20 feet with a three-step aider, three of these sticks, and single-step aiders on two of them. Most everybody knows what this is. Predator platform. Got a piece of bungee on the end of the tree strap. It just helps me, helps keep it rolled up. Pretty simple. A little athletic tape to keep it from rattling. That's pretty much it on steps and sticks. This is uh, my strap that goes around a tree. Can't remember what the technical name for this is. Uh, just a gear strap. This goes around the tree. See these little loops? I'm showing you my hook for my bow goes in there. Helps hold my bow. Pretty simple. Small. Again, that goes in my saddle pouch. Uh, this year I'm running the Latitude Method 2. It's a two panel saddle with the magnets on it. You can look them up. This is a great product. I think I'm really going to like it. I'm running one pouch and I'm using the 8mm linesman's rope with a cone duck. And I'm not going to use this tethered carabiner because it doesn't work good with the cone duck. I will be changing that out to one of these. Uh, Honestly, don't know what this is. It came with the cone duck. I'm not sure what type of carabiner this is, but it came with the cone duck and an eight millimeter meter tether rope. You can see the difference in the sizes between the old 10 millimeter and the eight millimeter. And when you roll these things up, there's a huge difference in the compactability of them. Might be hard to tell, but the weight and how small they roll up is a big difference. So. I may use this some on a preset or something, but this is what I'll be running from my saddle. Really like this saddle. I think I'm going to like it. That's the basic of my setup. I have a Doyle's gear hoist that is in here. Most of you know what that is. If you don't, look it up. It's just a retractable gear uh, retrieval system, or not retrieval system, just a gear hoist. Uh, I like it because it just cuts down on time. 
anything <clears throat> that saves me a couple ounces or a couple of seconds off of setup and teardown time, I'm going to invest time and money in. I'm, I'm extremely adamant about having a system that saves me weight and time. I don't like a lot of fiddle factor. I like to keep it as simple as possible. Some of you guys run knee pads. Sometimes I run knee pads. Most of the time I don't. Most of the time I run a, it's just a pad. It's just a pad that I've kind of trimmed down a little bit. I keep on my backpack. Just goes around the tree. I don't know. I find it to be a little bit quicker than knee pads. And I can just pull this out of my pack. I'll show you how it fits in my pack in a minute. Throw it around the tree and I'm done with it. So I have these if I need them. I used to use them, but I mostly just use this pad 99% of the time. Backpack. This is it. I'm not going to dump the backpack out. I'm not doing a pack dump video. I've got one. You can go back and watch it. Um, might be some new stuff in here before season anyway. This is an Alberta Style X2. This pack is awesome. I like it. Um, I carry my camera gear in here and anything I need. It packs my Predator platform. It packs my sticks. It's got plenty of pockets. I have this little pouch on the side to carry whatever. It's a frame pack, so if I need to skin a deer and haul it out, like I did last year in Kansas, I can because it's got the, it's got a, a frame and a pouch in it where you can haul meat. The frame helps distribute the weight good, and as I was saying a while ago, I could pull this pad. It fits right in there, snug between that frame and the back. Kind of just actually acts as a little bit of extra padding for my back, to be honest with you. So it fits right there, great. It's got a nice belt, got pockets, keep skin and knife and everything in it. That's it. It's a great pack. A little bit on the pricey side, worth it. I have never found the perfect pack that I like, and I have searched high and low. One day, maybe I'll have one custom built. That's about the only thing I can figure. The downfall that I don't like about this particular pack is the main compartment is top load. So my camera, I had to I have to put my camera in a box to keep it from being crushed by the compression straps to hold my sticks and my platform on there. And it's just hard to get my hand way down in there and get my camera out and put it back in there. That's the only downfall with this pack that I do not like at all. So as far as stands go, this is a Long Wolf Assault. I do use some for like a preset or whatever. I've had this a while. It's, it's a, I think it's like the smallest stand Long Wolf makes. I'm not sure. I don't even know if they make it anymore. But it is a Long Wolf Assault. I've put an extra cushion on it because the cushion that came on is pretty thin. It's about worn out. And uh, I don't use it a lot, but I do carry it with me. So if I needed to have it there. And these are the original Long Wolf sticks these things are amazing i've got two sets of these they have always and probably will always be my favorite stick downfall is is they're long and they're heavy but they bite to a tree and they set up quick and this is just a really good stick like i said probably my favorite stick of all time just not great if you're walking a long way or if you're running and gunning if you're just hanging a stand to hunt and leaving it there they're awesome sometimes you'll see me take these in and put them in a tree and just leave them there and come back and hunt with my saddle later or whatever but they'll stay in the tree the whole time i'm hunting a piece of public or or whatever this is just another option that i have most of the time i'm going to be in a saddle but for a preset or, or a stand that i'm maybe it's a tree i can't get a saddle or whatever this is always with me this is always an option two sets of these sticks are always with me i may not need all four of them but i'll have three of them or whatever it'll be different configurations but this is two pieces of gear that i really like that I've had for a long time and will continue to be part of my setup.